I knew at that moment when my heart wasn't racing, something was wrong and I was living too dangerous. I was doing what you had to do to survive in East LA. There are moments in life, y'all, when a child becomes an adolescent and an adolescent becomes a man or a woman. When you grow up the way we did, childhood, adolescence, and adulthood all blend. And sometimes you need to be the adult even when you're a preteen or a teenager. And sometimes your innocence, your childhood is stripped from you in an instant. I can pinpoint my childhood coming to an end. I was right here in the middle of this street. I wasn't standing like I am here. I was 13 years old. I was chilling in that porch there when my brother rolled up, asked me to jump in, we were gonna go eat. I walked up, I got in his whip. And as I got on his whip, a man came running at top speed from up the hill here. This hill is famous, y'all. This is the sign of what is East LA. This is the border of sheriffs and LAPD. This is the border of two rival high schools, Roosevelt and Garfield. This is the border of LA City, LA County. But for our purposes, this was the border of the Southsiders and the Maravillas, two East LA Mexican gangs. When I rolled up into the car and I sat inside, it was a black Toyota Camry. He rolled up and he screamed at the top of his lungs, where's my money? He opened his shirt, he pulled out, could have been a nine, could have been a 40, could have been a 45, I have no idea. But from point blank, he reached inside the car and started shooting. He hit the back of the driver's seat. As I saw the flames fire out of the barrel, I covered up and I panicked. It was four or five shots. My brother sped down the hill. That man ran around. And as we made a U-turn and came back up the block, he started shooting in my direction. 13 years old, y'all not experience a live firefight from no more than four feet away. I wish I could tell you I was tough and I took it, but that's not what happened. I curled up and I started to cry. I shook, I panicked. My brother looked over at me, looked at me and said, stop being a bitch. We're gonna be all right. We drove down Cesar Chavez Boulevard for about three miles when we got pulled over. The cops handcuffed us. Sheriff's department took my brother in. We were the ones who got shot at, but we were the ones arrested. I was an innocent kid, y'all. But that day, that child died. From that moment on, I developed major anxiety issues. I could not see a car coming the way this car's coming right now without panicking, without shaking, without fearing. It took years for me to get over it. But I kept remembering those few words. Don't be a bitch, it's gonna be all right. I wish I could tell you that I've overcome all my anxiety, that I've overcome. But what I can tell you is that by the time I was 18, the time I was 17 and I moved out, I'd been shot at so many times that I had become numb to it. I remember the last time I got shot at, I was up the hill, we were, adding some artwork to the walls. When some dudes from CAM came and started shooting at us, my buddy Weddle get, was out of the car. Before he jumped back in, I said, nah, go finish, we ain't done yet. When he got back in the car and we left, we looked at each other and I said, did we just get shot at again? He looked at me, he says, yeah, we did. I knew at that moment when my heart wasn't racing, something was wrong and I was living too dangerously. I had a full ride to universities. I could go to the UC of my choice and I was still acting like a fucking dumbass. The moment I didn't know, I thought I was doing what you had to do to survive in East LA. When I started this video, when I started this part of the video, I said there are moments in life where a child becomes an adolescent and a child becomes an adult. On that day, standing right there, sitting in that black 2002 Toyota Camry, my child died. And that became the transformation of who I am today. That's just not an excuse. I can say I got PTSD from it. I can say I got an anxiety disorder from it. I saw death at 13 years old. But just like my room, 
It's like everything around me. It's like that beautiful woman up there, my mother, who gave us everything that she could and gave me the one thing that no dollar could ever buy, and that was unconditional love. She gave me the power to overcome all these obstacles. She gave me the power to do everything I wanted because at the end of the day, I knew no matter what, she was gonna love me. And even though her little baby died that day and he grew into a man, forever I could remember that her love is the reason why I've overcome all these trials and tribulations and why I refuse to use them as an excuse and why I use them as fuel.